I'm super excited about this. Uh, it's been about 20 some odd years since I've got a new pair of skates. I had a bit of an issue with an order I placed with a different shop originally, and I gotta give a huge shout out to Intuition Skate uh, out of Bakersfield, California. They responded to my email inquiries literally same day, sent it first thing in the morning, had an email back within probably an hour or two. So huge, amazing customer service. A couple, one or two back and forth with them. Decided to go ahead and get things ordered. Cancel my order with the other shop that had been waiting for two months almost for my order to actually process. So say, you know, general packaging. It, skates are already pretty well packed. But this is a good, nice packaging. Awesome. Got a hand with a written note here uh, from Matt. And says, you know, thanks for choosing Intuition. Stay tuned. Shout out to their uh, Instagram at Intuition Skate Shop. And then, of course, they're going to have some uh, events coming up. A uh, couple little shout-outs they had here on their notes was check out the uh, Alta Battle Angel movie because they actually have Intuition Riders at Damon Franklin underscore Franklin, who was also seen on the Braille video, and at uh, Chris Shafi. Uh, they are stunt skaters on the film, and it's awesome to see skating on the big screen or the silver screen. So huge shout out to Intuition. I really appreciate just how quick you guys got back and just, you know, how quick I got my product. I ordered this last Thursday. It is now Tuesday. And I think it sat for like three days in California before it even <laughs> made it up into a, into where I'm at. So uh, quick shipping, awesome basic customer service. Uh, actually came with a couple uh, bonuses, which we'll see should be probably packed in here. go got k2s these are going to be the k2 unnaturals i uh, went with the skate because i grew up skating the uh, k2 backyards and i just loved the feel of the skates getting back into skating trying to kind of keep things going i knew i i liked the feel of the boots so i wanted to kind of keep with what i knew so in general got a couple Magazines here, skate mags, awesome stickers. Again, Intuition Skate, just so, such a great place. And got a video DVD on here as well, it looks like, which is going to be awesome. Uh, one thing I will be doing with this is doing a comparison weight-wise uh, to my old K2s, which I, of course, still have. Unfortunately, reached out to K2 because my cuff, the upper cuff, of the boot on both boots broke. They're old, I get it. Plastic kind of fatigues like that. But I was a little disappointed in K2 because they don't offer any sort of replacement parts even for the new models. And I know there's aftermarket uh, cuff attachment points that you can buy, but without having a shop of my own, being able to kind of swap pieces in and out, there's no way to confirm which cuffs would fit. So I didn't want to try and repair them it was time to just go ahead and go new. And one other piece that I will do with this video is try and get that hands-on feel to the skates that I kind of felt I was missing with anything else that I had watched. And you know, I'm a I'm a hands-on kind of person. I like things in certain ways. I like to be able to see things and get an idea of comparisons, especially being that I have an older version. So K2 and Naturals, awesome looking skate. Weight on them, they feel actually really balanced, you know, towards the heel just a little bit, which is how the normal skates felt for my old ones. My only, only concern with these ones that I had, didn't have any issues with with my old models, is a hard toe. I know some people called it a toe jams and many other things you land hard and get a toe jammed into that hard plastic on the front it hurts from the inside but kicking a coping hurts even harder from the outside so that's my only concern with these ones but overall you know take a look at the uh, the fit and finish on them and compare a couple other pieces with the old models
got general K2 skate information, skate manual warranty information. Pretty straightforward there. And did have the basic, looks like K2. Actually, Intuition may have even thrown this in here. It looks like it's uh, just a basic skate tool, which is awesome to have. You got for popping bearings, um, you know, obviously adjusting the wheels and everything else. I definitely do run a anti-rocker setup. So that is one thing that's nice about the K2s. Uh, they do have nice little hexagonal attachment here inside of where the bolt goes. And that allows you to adjust the wheel height up and down millimeters very small adjustment but it can take you from a flat rocker to an anti-rocker setup so one other component of these skates of course is the ufs uh, universal frame system on it i am going to do a disassembly show everything kind of broken apart because again something i couldn't find a video of i i couldn't find a good um representation of how that system is all set up especially on these specific skates but it is again universal to a lot of other skates so overall fit looks good you know definitely uh firm but i haven't even pulled out <laughs> cardboard that's a that's a pretty beefy piece of cardboard right there and let's see if, how well i can actually do things i jacked up my hands uh, skateboarding last week actually and it's been the dexterity is a little limited still and it doesn't feel like anything else down in the inside so one thing that I loved about my k2 backyards is they were I broke them in I wore the skates daily for hours a day potentially uh, especially during the dry seasons when i could actually get out and skate on a regular basis so no these are definitely quite firm comparative to uh, what i was used to but also part of the reason why i went with the unnatural is they have more of a kind of a leather slash canvas type um, versus more of a synthetic that the uptowns and a couple other models had so i was hoping these would actually like a, a good boot, a good work boot, would kind of work themselves in and they have a nice feeling to it. These right here, or this right here, is my original soft boot. And this is more of a, I guess, a soft canvas uh, or suede leather type. Very pliable and like I said, I ran these things constantly. Um, had a problem, plastic wears out over time, buckle snapped off up top, cracked down the back at one point, just with them being laced up, but, you know, these were awesome skates, I absolutely loved them, I just, I wish they had a, a same replacement, but going something new, something fresh. Uh, I did run larger wheels on these, just because I'd used it for commuting as well as for general skate purposes. So I run, when I run my uh, kind of weight comparison, I will try and actually get uh, the wheels out and just go same wheels that I would normally be running on the unnaturals to get an accurate representation of what the weight difference is, if any. These are actually pretty mild uh, in comparison. One of the big things that had me also stick with the K2s, just given my history with skating, was the K2s were substantially lighter than anything else on market back when I was riding. Uh, the Oxygen uh, AR 1.1s and 2.1s, I believe, were kind of the staple for a lot of aggressive skaters at the time. And they were like cinder blocks on your feet. They were obnoxiously heavy. I didn't like that, made my knees hurt, and just didn't feel right when trying to do tricks and being or maneuverable. These ones definitely did the job, and just as a initial comparison, they definitely feel pretty equal in weight overall. So I'm hoping to get this on the scale pretty quick and, and see what we're working with. Got everything kind of basic disassembly. So you have your standard boot. These are your UFS mounting points. 
UFS screws. You're gonna mount through the holes here in your low in the, uh, the lower rail. Simple removal of the, the wheels, pop that piece off, allows you to swap this to other components. Uh, they make technically longer, shorter, taller, all sorts of variations. I'm sure you guys are already familiar with that if you've been researching anything about skates of late. Uh, boot size. These are a size 10. These are a size 10. They are properly sized overall, definitely a size 10. The biggest piece that I noticed, and it was my biggest concern before I even ordered the skates, the size 10 and up K2s come with a larger UFS frame. That larger UFS frame is a, almost an extra inch. It's, I believe, uh, like 15 millimeters bigger than the nine and a half and lower UFS frame. Comparison to my original skates, that's a major difference. Right here on the tail side, you can definitely see how much that sticks out. It's almost an extra inch of overall length that sticks out on there. Um, I'm gonna probably end up riding these and I feel like I'm probably gonna end up hitting up intuition and you know ordering a pair of replacements because that is just obnoxiously long in my book. But overall, or initial inspection on there, they're looking good, really simple, just skate tool, standard hex head, and you don't even need the skate tool. If you've got a, an Allen set, you'll, you'll be able to do this. Very simple to remove, extremely simple to replace. Uh, obviously, kind of directional, but click, put your screws in, and away you go. Really simple. So I decided for uh, consistency, we're just gonna go boot frame only. No wheels, no hardware, you know, just the actual skate setup. Uh, I've actually got scale here, not a drug scale, I promise. It is for home brewing, <laughs> make some beer. I enjoy what I do. Ah, 3.16. And we'll check one last time just cause it is a cheap scale. There we go. Three pounds, 1.6 ounces. Total weight, K2 a natural boot. UFS frame assembly, long frame. No hardware, no wheels, no nothing. And for the old schools, K2 a natural, or sorry, <laughs> K2 backyard, uh, K2 backyard bobs, backyard pros. I, they had, what was it? They had a, a long run with this series, and these are just, like I said, I love the skates. The broken part is stuffed inside the boot, so no arguments there, don't, don't get at me. The broken components are still actually weighing down the boot itself. So, looking at two pounds, 8.9 ounces. So definitely a little bit of a weight difference. These are definitely lighter. And test again. Two pounds, 8.9 ounces. This is a polyurethane replacement that actually I had custom machined with my grandfather. He used to run a machine shop, he used to do plastic injection molding. Absolutely love having the ability to do custom parts. Wore out the original component that fit here. We custom machined this, so with this part included, we'll call it two pounds, 9.3 ounces. So not a huge difference in weight but with the frame slider, two pounds, 9.3 ounces. Now it looks like thus far, I'll correct this in the future if it is inaccurate, but I do have to say there is a definite difference in what I thought was going to be an adjustable level. You can see the original old unit, the hole there is actually offset, which allowed you to rotate within the frame. So like this direction, because of the high offset hole, would actually push your wheel up further into the frame, making your ride lower. And you could adjust that incrementally 
to balance it out there. So my center rocker would always be adjusted high up. My outer wheels would be adjusted down in one of the outer two positions. The new aluminum piece instead of plastic, which is always nice, does not appear to have that same adjustability. So it doesn't appear that I can actually adjust the, the ride height effectively of the skate uh, within the unit, but we'll see how things work out. May even try to use these adjustable pieces on the outer wheels and they're plastic. They're probably brittle, they'll probably break, but it's worth uh, giving it a shot.